Hello YouTube and Transformers fans, my name's Angelo, welcome to the Brickroll channel. And for this video, I will be reviewing the Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Trilogy Autobot Grapple. And if you haven't seen my previous Earthrise review, the link is in the description box. And we begin this review with, uh, with the packaging. You have the artwork on one side, grapple portrait on the other, and in the back are some back shots. <laughs> That didn't sound right at all, man. Um, product images. And uh, this suggests Grapple transforms into a queen truck in 16 steps. And then there's a, a Battle Master figure to show compatibility with, with Grapple. It's sold separately. And I'm not going in-depth on the packaging like, uh, like I did the last time. We'll, we'll take a look at the vehicle mode right away. And this is Grapple as a as a crane truck and he looks similar to a Fuso T951 that's been retrofitted into a crane and if you're not already familiar with the Transformers this thing will will and can fool you to think that this is just a regular toy truck the undercarriage has no visible robot parts it doesn't have any kind of giveaway unless you know your Transformers I mean truly a robot in disguise in my opinion Grapple also rolls very well on many surfaces the base of the crane swings and swivel, the crane's boom protracts and retracts, and you can attach this crane claw that it comes with right on the hook block. It also comes with a rifle and a hose nozzle. And for the paint apps, besides a quality issue here at the translucent part of the top of the truck, the paint apps are spot on, although minimal. Most of it are in the cab section, more orange apps on the cable slash hose reel, in the rear wheels. There's black construction stripes on the faux telescope and base sections to add accents and silver paints for the grille, bumper, and outriggers. And for the rest of the details, you have the translucent blue or teal for the windows and lights. The panel linings and other details adds accuracy to the crane truck's design. And let's do robot mode. But first, transformations. Untap the crane base from the truck bed, pull down, push up, same goes to the other side, and this becomes the feet. Swing the cab all the way, untab the parts where the where the parts would become the arms, and swing all the way 180 degrees. Swing the black peg hole outward from the bottom to reveal the hands. Bring down the arms, swing the biceps outwards 90 degrees, and this completes the whole arm sections. And almost there, swing the front of the base to reveal Grapple's head and accordion the connectors between the base and body. Bring down Grapple's head and lock it in place. Then rotate the crane 180 degrees and pull it all the way down. And we have Grapple. And here's Grapple with a rifle, Grapple with a hose nozzle, and here's Grapple with a grapple. And in robot mode. Grapple, a Voyager class, is amazingly detailed in a cartoon accurate mold with some added extra panel linings to add some, some realism, you know, give you that uh, jumped out of the TV screen illusion. And uh, for articulation, let's have Grapple fight some Decepticons. The articulation points are superb, it does kicks and punches really well. The multiple points and the uh, body swivels allows me to manipulate and uh, pop it grapple with ease. The only thing it's lacking are the wrist rotation and And it looks like we have a winner. I'm really falling behind on this review man. S screw this stop motion shit. <laughs> Anyway, more about the articulations. The, the head uh, rotates 360 degrees. And the uh, shoulders also rotates 360 degrees. The arm rotation in there. Arm rotation check. Arm bend check. It can even do the... Let's see if it can do the Vitruvian. Oh yeah. Pretty good, man. And it's got waist swivel. Yep, pretty good. Uh, legs go up that high and go that go that far back. It bends. You have that 90 degree bend in there too. That's pretty cool, man. And then you have you have some ankle tilt in there, man. Yep. 
There you go. Really neat, man. And then for uh, for comparisons, here's the guy from my previous review, Earthrise Voyager Class Starscream. Not so much different in height. And then we have uh, Earthrise Deluxe Class Hoist. This one's pretty tall for for the Lux figure. It's not much of a height difference from this from this guy. And then we have Earthrise Cliff Jumper, the Lux class, the Lux class. <laughs> All right, that's uh, that's gonna be a good subject uh, for another video, man. But like, yeah, these are your comparisons. Okay, some things that you gotta watch out for, and it's going around the Transformers community that bought this guy. That's this tab right here. There was one. Um, as you can see, mine already broke, and I'm not going to any details on how I broke it. It's it's a it's a common issue. Um, but there's a video out there created by Mr. Larkin's Lair. Um, it will show you how to avoid this problem in advance and the link is on my description box under grapple fix and uh, Check the rest of his channel. He's a good collector that knows his shit man. I promise and um, other than uh, That problem. I still believe that this is a solid figure and a must-have for any Transformers fans It's I mean, you know, it's a good alternative uh, from the more expensive masterpiece lines that can cost you know hundreds of dollars and you know for for thirty dollars it should lure some uh, some fans that uh, grew out of it back to the Transformers train ride and this wraps up my review for the Transformers Earthrise Grapple I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating it please like comment and share and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe Please hit that subscribe button for future videos and um, you know it doesn't cost you a dime and it will help my channel a lot. Again thank you and peace.